this is Sasha. Hey, I'm Austin. We're gonna be looking through this awesome home today off of Corrine. Corrine? Yeah, Corrine. yep. It's one um, on the west side of Idle Falls out here. Yeah, so come follow me this way. So we're 1355 Corrine. Yes. That's right. That. Great West Side home, quiet streets. Yeah, they, we were just talking with the sellers and they were mentioning that the neighborhood's super quiet. Um, really, really awesome neighbors. It's, it's beautiful out today and they really just, they just got new siding, which is some pretty high quality siding as well. Um, and it's got this really awesome breezeway right here so you don't have to be covered in snow while you're walking into your house, so. That's right. So we got this awesome um, split level deal going on here, which is really convenient because you can have main living and then you can have more company downstairs and still kind of have it separate, but you can still talk to each other really easily. Um, we're gonna head into here probably first. Um, I really love the accent wall they've got going on with these sconces. I think it really adds a good focal point for the home. Um, the carpet is relatively new as well. Um, and they did, Oh, I'm paint the whole house when they moved in, so it is fresh paint. That is right. What's the square footage and stats? So this the square footage of this home is 1,800 square feet. It's got four bedrooms, two and a half bath, two and a half bath. Um, the three bedrooms upstairs, one bedroom downstairs are the family room. So it's got the two family rooms, so you can kind of divide up parties and stuff there as well. Yeah. All right. So we have got um, breakfast nook right here with the sliding glass door to the backyard. It does have a shed in the back that will be staying with the home. Um, it is fenced and um, pretty private. The trees obviously are bare right now from the weather, but in the spring and summer, it'll be all in bloom with a lot more privacy. What's the um, lot size? So the lot size on this is roughly 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. Um, typical lot for Idle Falls here. It's got a nice little patio, cement patio. Yeah, good barbecue. Yep. Yeah. Good established trees, like Sasha said, too. They shade in the summer. So they do have an overhang here. They don't have any bar stools, but you could if you wanted additional seating. A um, lot of counter or counter space and covered space, actually. Um, white sink, and it does have a disposal. And then the pantry is right there. So a lot of covered space plus a pantry. And a lot of these homes don't have the pantry, so I think that's a really great... Um, addition there. So, right. oh, sure. what kind of heating do we have? We have uh, a ceiling cable. Yeah, so right. it's all electric heat. So, you have ceiling cable, and then downstairs we have those cadet heaters. Um, and uh, yeah, they said that they do level pay. So, it's about $200 a month for, the, for all the utilities each month for the year. Yep, that's right. I noticed something on the ceiling over there, Austin. Is there anything we... Yes, I'm glad you brought it up. So in the ceiling here, you'll see that there's... Uh, it's just it's a crack. Well, we're thinking it's just the sheetrock, and these guys have somebody that's going to be looking at it and taking care of that. Or, you know, obviously everything's negotiable. But uh, just, yeah, know that it is something we, we know about, we're addressing. You know, we're going to make sure that uh, we take the, the proper precautions on that. So... I guess we'll go upstairs first. They've added in this neat lighting, as you'll see when you come up the stairs. Um, for the steps, which I think is really great when you're walking around in the middle of the night, you're not stumbling on the staircase. Um, this will let you peek into the bathroom without crowding it up too much. But so we got the first bathroom here. Um, it's got a vanity, and then kind of tucked back there is the tub and the toilet. And there's also a closet in there as well for some extra storage. Is that tile floors? Yeah. Yep, it is tile. Mm -hmm. All right, and the first bedroom is right in here. It's pretty good size. That is, I think it's a full bed. I'm not sure if it's quite a queen. Yeah. Um, but it, I mean, obviously you can see that plenty of furniture fits in there comfortably. This is a pretty good size room too, actually. Um, it's got the day bed, um, couch, not couch, but chair and a, a desk right here. So it fits a lot of furniture. And which way, which direction are these windows facing? So that is west. These two bedrooms have windows that come from the east. Yep. So this is a really good size room, wouldn't you say, Austin? Yeah, great size master bedroom. That's a yeah. king size bed. King size bed. Plenty of room on each side. Plenty. They've got a big old dresser right there. Yep. Really good size room. Um, double closets for his and hers. And they do have an ensuite, 
which is fantastic. Some of these smaller homes do not. So. Mm -hmm. And usually these smaller homes like this in this age don't have this big of a master. So That's this true is a too. it's a huge plus for this, this room. Really good size room. Really good size master bedroom here. So that part's awesome. Yep. Okay. So we'll head downstairs. Perfect. So as again, as we mentioned, obviously another family room down here, um, great size family room, also in really good shape, new carpet throughout the home for the most part. Um, you'll see that it has a wood fireplace down there that uh, supplements the heat if you wanted to use a wood fireplace. So just another added heat source there. Yeah. And the nice thing about that split level is those windows are all big because it doesn't go they super down. They're really nice. Yeah, yeah, they're above ground, which is great. Brings a lot more light in. It doesn't feel like a dungeony basement. Tons of natural light down mm -hmm. here. Yep. Yeah. So we've got laundry and another bathroom in that way. Um, we'll walk back and it does have tile in there to let Austin go in there. Yeah, it's so your laundry hookups. You got a half bath here, so it, you know sink here, toilet there. Um, like she said, tile floors. So. But it is kind of nice because then if you have guests down here hanging out, they don't need to go up into your like main living upstairs to find a bathroom. Yeah, that's right. Um, this is a bonus room. Um, it is pretty big though. They are utilizing it as a bedroom. Um, it does have a window, but there is not a closet. So it's technically just a bonus room, but it is a really awesome big space. Really nice. Do you no have bows a garage? <laughs> no bows. No bows. No bows, Dad. No bows, no blades. Leave your weapons here. <laughs> is there a garage? There is a garage, two car garage, and there's Perfect. access here, which is awesome. There, It is not a detached garage. You just get into the house right from there. So, yeah. So that's Fantastic. this home. Any other comments or special info on it? So, what was the final stats of the, the whole house? So, it's a three bedroom, two, two and a half bath with a bonus room. Um, yeah. And then living room, family room, 1,800 square feet about. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. How did they get a hold of you and they went on to come see the house? They give this guy a call. Let's do it. Yep. 208-390-6097. Perfect. Come okay. see this great We'd house. Won't last show long. You in person. Yep. And if you're enjoying these smart messages and you have friends or family that we, you could introduce us to that would enjoy these, that we could help, we would appreciate that. Instead of trying to rely on, on contacting a human, you can know about the entire transaction from start to finish on day one. And it's 24-7 information. Everyone's unique, but they have the same concerns because this is the process. So these smart messages, I think, are going to answer people's questions. So these smart messages are going to be amazing. Mm -hmm.